My name is Jacob Landis. I'm, I'm landing my bike uh, to all 30 Major League Baseball Stadium this summer to raise a million dollars for cochlear implant. The cochlear implant is an electronic device that basically stimulates hearing in the brain. Um, I'm, I'm wearing mine. Uh, I have a microphone right here on my ear. It goes into a computer that I wear on my belt. They have new ones now that are uh, just on the ear. Uh, the sound goes back up through the head. It goes into, uh, it does radio waves into uh, your cochlear implant. And it pretty much stimulates hearing. I was born with perfect hearing and um, I don't really remember too much uh, because I was really, really young, but my mom said that I was slowed about speech and she was really concerned. We had a hearing test before him and that's when they said I was losing my hearing. And they gave me uh, my first pair of hearing aids when I was in kindergarten. By the time I was in third grade, I had the most powerful hearing aids you could buy. And then in fourth grade, I was pretty much isolated from the classroom and I, I would just read a book all day because I couldn't function in the public school system. And that's when I got the implant. When I got my implant, I was one of the first 10,000 people to have one. Now we have over uh, 800,000 people with them. So there's a lot more research, there's a lot more, a lot more known about it. We know who would benefit, and I know that there's a lot of kids out there that benefit more than I have. There's pretty much three groups of people uh, for deafness. You have people who are born deaf, you have people who lose their hearing as they age, and then you also have uh, people who lose their hearing suddenly uh, later in life based on an accident, and those people benefit the most. People who are born deaf and go years and years and years without hearing and then get the implant, they're the ones that don't benefit the most from it. For me, um, because I had already learned language and I had already heard music and I've already heard what everything sounds like and my brain knew this is how things are supposed to sound, when they turned it on, it was a pretty quick, pretty quick to get used to it. So when I got this implant, I got to stay in the public school system. Um, I worked full time, I graduated from high school, uh, I went to college. Uh, I pretty much lived a completely mainstream uh, life, you know. And I, I try not to say I'm normal, but I, I got to live a normal life, you know. With a million dollars, we can get a hundred surgeries, because we can get surgeries done for about $10,000 now. Um, with matching grants from different foundations. Uh, so that's pretty much the, why we're doing this ride. So we can make this happen to a hundred other kids. Uh, I look forward to, uh, I guess, meeting a lot of the people that have been emailing me the last few months. Uh, just, it, it's amazing the support we've been getting because even before we had our website, before we had our brochure, when we were calling foundations and calling people, the amount of support we've been getting is just tremendous. And that, that's been the coolest part. Uh, like the, uh, the president from the Gifted Hearing Foundation is flying down here on uh, April 3rd to go to the first game with us. So it would be really cool to meet her. Uh, I'm going to meet the president of Advanced Bionics, like the, the people who make this implant. That, that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most, plus, plus the baseball games and the pipe riding. I guess I'm scared about the large number of miles I have to do, because it's 10,500 miles. Um, but it's not, it's not a nightmare at all, it's more of like a dream come true, because there's just so many times I ride to work and I just wish I could keep on going instead of going to work, you know. Uh, so if that's the way I see it. Um, it's just, I don't. I don't think. It, I don't think the miles get to me. But out of everything, that's probably what I worry about the most. Where, plus, plus uh, riding in the rain. I mean, because of a tight schedule, if it's raining, there's a, there'll be a lot of times I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to ride through it. Yeah, Miami would be would be pretty cool. It'd be really emotional. I can't wait. You know, I can't wait to start. I can't wait to finish. You know, at the same time.